Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Spotlight of the Day series and today we have an amazing library called headroom.js So what does this library do? So if you have seen the thumbnail, you already know what this library does So this library helps us in hiding the header when you scroll So this is a very common effect that you see in most websites You might have seen this effect in most of the websites that whenever you scroll down the header gets hidden and whenever you scroll up slightly it starts like it will be shown again you see here the header is there in the beginning and then if i scroll down a bit it will be hidden and if i scroll up a little it will start show it will start showing and again if i scroll down again it will be hidden so this is a very common uh, effect that you see in most of the websites and it will be very useful for you to learn how to build this effect and you can build this effect in uh, just three lines of code using this library called headroom.js in general if you don't want to use the library then you need to listen to the scroll events and then you need to write some custom then you need to inject some custom css classes and like there is some work involved but using this library all you need is just three lines of code so let me show you how to do this i have already uh, written some code and uh, i have already uh, included the library so that we can save some time if you see the the library is github it's pretty simple to use all you need to do is just uh, install the library first so if you're using any bundler install it using npm or yarn just one command and if you're using uh, uh, just html then you can use their cdn link so what i've done is i've copied their cdn link and i have used their cdn link here i just pasted it here you can use a script tag if you're using uh, just if you're using a html file and once you are done, once you injected the library, then all you need is just three lines of code. If you see here, it's just three lines of code. Or you just need to copy this three lines of code and just paste it. But the thing is, you need to modify your selector, which selects the header. So I have a header with a class named header. And so I'm selecting the element using the tag itself, using the tag header. And then I'm doing headroom.init and and all you need to do is a uh, few more lines of CSS, then copy this CSS as well. Uh, just like a few lines of code, to copy this CSS and paste the CSS. This is the actual CSS of the library. If you're wondering what all the other CSS is, that is just for my own styling, that's not required for the library. If you see the header, all I've done is I've given it a height, I've given it some background color for this background color, and I made it position fixed. and uh, this you can ignore this part this part is just to style the header I, I give it some flex styling so that the branding and the emoji is there they are space space between you don't have to worry about that just worry just uh, i you have to worry about just these three things height background color and uh, position fixed and uh, yeah um, that's pretty much it that's how you use this library it's very simple to use and once you do that you have this amazing uh, uh, hiding effect when you scroll down and it will be shown when you scroll up if you see this i'm scrolling down it's hidden i'll scroll up a little and it will be shown i'll scroll down a little it will be hidden shown hidden shown hidden so this is how it works and uh, i hope you liked it if there are any beginners watching this video and if you are confused about something or if you're not understanding uh, how to use this library or something or any doubts like if you have any doubts then please uh, comment it in below the video and i'll make sure to reply to you and I'll, I'll try to answer all your questions so this is for today and this is the library this is the spotlight of the day and i hope you liked it if you liked it do leave a like and subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications by clicking on the bell icon and i'll see you tomorrow with another spotlight of the day see you guys Bye bye